My name is Mark Reinhold, and I'm the chief architect of Java Platform Group. So a couple of years ago, I don't know how many of you attended my talk at the Eclipse Day. I was uh, Stefan Herman at the time. I have decided to promote myself. I promote myself as the Java chief architect. Anyway, the, to restart, my name is Srikant, and I work in Oracle as a part of the Lang Tools group, working on the Java language compiler. So if you run Java C, you have run my code, including all the bugs there. <coughs> so I used to earlier work in the Eclipse JDT compiler team, and I led the Java 8 efforts in Eclipse. And once that ship decided it's time to quickly bolt without having to address all the problems and bugs and defect reports, whatever. So I'm here at Oracle today, and uh, I will give a high-level overview of some of the features that we are working on beyond Java 9. Java 9, from a feature set point of view, is closed. And you are probably um, aware of what is coming in Java 9, so I'll not spend time on that. Most important thing coming up there is module system. So beyond Java 9, what are the things that are cooking is what we are going to cover at a high level. So one of the interesting things that happens in the Oracle Java products group is that at any point in time, there is investigation, prototyping, research, development, implementation work going on for two or three releases. There are some of us working on what is likely to be Java 10 work, some of us working on Java 11. You know, some of us are working on things that are not even tagged to any particular release. So a lot of uh, work is happening. People are you know, working in a dedicated fashion on things that have nothing to do with Java 9 at all. A lot of this is available for you in the information as well as source code is available for Valhalla. Valhalla is the code name for the project. Some of the feature set that are being investigated and explored. So documents, design documents, rationals, JEP documents, plus source code repositories, a lot of it is available already for people to take a look at, participate, comment, and uh, get involved in. So you're welcome to do that. So moving on. So this slide is a mandatory slide I need to show. It uh, basically says that whatever we discuss here is information purposes only, not a commitment to deliver uh, from Oracle. It's not an obligation for Oracle to deliver. You should not rely upon in making purchasing or product implementation decisions. So highly speculative. You can just take it that all of this is a lie. So moving on. So two key features that I'm going to give an introduction to um, that are being considered as part of the